Hi mates and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel, I'm Antonov2 as usual and today we will be having another discussion video, we will be talking about power creep in World of Tanks. So if you don't know what power creep is, basically it means that from patch to patch, new vehicles that are introduced become stronger and stronger so that older vehicles are no longer competitive and have to be continuously updated to be able to keep pace with the new introductions to the game meaning that the overall strength of tanks is always increasing and there's an upward spiral but nothing happens because the older tanks are being updated also so the reason why i want to do this video is because I had a look at the stat website vbaddict.net and that was because I was doing a top 5 tier list for the best premium tanks earning the most credits. So I looked at this at this list here, here you see the credits that they earn and I saw these tanks right, this is the ranking of tanks according to their credit earning potential. And I just noticed how many of these tanks were actually new or recently updated. So for example, arguably the first eight tanks have been recently introduced or updated. For example, the Luva has been recently updated. All these tanks here, I would argue, have been recently introduced and the M41 90mm actually two, kind of, I'd say. So that just gives you an idea of how extreme this actually is. And then uh, if we move on to the second page, it actually goes on. The T25 pilot was also recently introduced. Okay, these two tanks weren't, and they weren't updated either, but the Lorraine was introduced recently again. It's a new tier 8 premium tank. The Patton Korea is also fairly recent. The Defender is a new tank. The Liberté is also, I guess, fairly new. And so this is a very clear trend, and that got me thinking. So I thought, well, let's have a look at the overall ranking of tier 8 to 10 vehicles and their win rate, right? And the trend continues here too. So the Object 907 is not very new, but it also isn't one of the older tanks either. It's kind of medium, I'd say. But, um, the, ob but the mouse, for example, has been recently updated. The IS-5 is a pretty new tank. The, also, even the Object 260 and the T-55A are not that old tanks. The Defender, again, a new tank. The VK-101P is new. Then we move on to the second page, and we see again the Panzerkampfwagen 7, the Maus, the Type 5 Heavy, the Emil. So all of these tanks are pretty recent additions to the game. And that is why I want to talk about power creep, whether it is a problem, and how we could combat it in World of Tanks, basically. I figure that power creep is a pretty normal thing to occur in MMO games like World of Tanks, and basically in any MMO that I've played so far that is continuously updated power creep does occur and the reason for that is pretty obvious that the producers want to keep you interested in their content right so if they add new tank lines to the game and they are weak or less effective than what is already in the game people will not play them and that is obviously a big disappointment to the developers so they try to make the new content they add as interesting and entertaining as possible and in the case of a um, tanks MMO, that basically means making tanks with very, very good stats or alternatively with a very interesting kind of capabilities. So classic examples of these tanks with interesting capabilities are, for example, the Type 4 Heavy that is ridiculously strongly armoured or the Waffentrigger of E100 that was removed again now but also was kind of a fairly new tank and had a very novel autoloader and gun system so these with these kind of tanks they hope to keep people in the game by motivating them to grind to these new vehicles and if the vehicles were only as strong as what is currently in the game people would not grind and thus wouldn't spend money on the game so uh, it wouldn't figure for world of tanks right and that is something that is very very difficult to counter so i think the only way you can really do something against this power creep is by providing some kind of alternative end game and what i mean by that is giving players who have already ground through almost all the tech tree giving them some kind of other motivation besides grinding out new tanks. 
for example, a ranked system, and that is what they are introducing in patch 9.19. Now, I'm not sure yet whether this ranked system will actually do well or whether it won't, and that we'll have to wait to see. I'm a bit critical of it, the way it is now, but we'll just have to see how it plays out. But I think it's definitely going in the right direction. Because quite honestly, me, I've played about 16,000 games of World of Tanks and I am getting to the stage where grinding new tanks is no longer something that I play the game for. I far more play the game to improve my skill and uh, for these kind of insane moments where you get a great carry or have some kind of other nice experience in the game and that's really what I'm after, what I'm looking for when I'm playing World of Tanks and not to get that next tier 10 tank. I know grinding is very motivating for the first couple of thousand games you play, but at some point, I feel at least, that it no longer motivates me. And what I'm looking for in World of Tanks now is not to get new vehicles, because I feel I've almost got enough now. I actually want to be able to display my skill, right? So I want to be able to prove how good I am at the game, and then also show that, for example, by cosmetics on my tanks, like for example, a good idea would be a kind of a certain camouflage that you can only get if you did very well in the ranked system or something, or giving medals and achievements for people who play very well. And that is something that I think would be a lot better suited to just motivate people and it also would be a lot healthier for the game because you could avoid power creep this way. And just one thing I want to say at the end, and this is my personal opinion and I guess many people will disagree with this, but I really hope that Wargaming will stop to try to introduce new vehicles to the game at any price because one thing that's annoying me quite a lot with World of Tanks at the moment is how they come up with new vehicles, especially at the higher tiers, that are completely ridiculous, right? For example, the FV215B183 or the Waffenträger was an example. Okay, thankfully they removed that tank, but also the Type 4 Heavy. Those kind of tanks that never existed in real life and that basically, for me, they kind of ruined the immersion in the game, right? I mean, obviously you don't play World of Tanks for realism, but still it's kind of nice to have a certain degree of immersion there. And I just prefer having kind of more normal tanks, if that makes sense. But anyway, that's just my opinion, and I would be really glad if Wargaming could, instead of trying to create new tanks all the time, and don't get me wrong, having a new tank line maybe once or twice a year is great, but any more than that for me is just overkill. Uh, I would a lot rather see them create some other kind of end game, such as, for example, a very effective ranked system. So, Please let me know what you guys think about this issue in the comments. Do you agree with me that most of the new tanks added don't really benefit the game a lot? Or would you disagree? So uh, I'm really interested in reading your comments. I will read all of them, don't worry. And uh, thanks for watching as usual. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time or maybe even on the battlefield. Goodbye.